a lot of people in business get into business and they come to a standstill, not knowing what actions to take. They start doing the smallest things possible without actually doing the right things. And this causes a massive hindrance to people's success and growth. I've experienced this myself because I know, right? You sit there, you're thinking you're busy, you're going through your emails, checking emails, um, just doing the minimal stuff that you need to do without actually looking at your vision of your company. So I want you to think about the vision that you have of your business today. Think about the goal. Are you infused by it? Do you even think about your goal? This is a crazy thing. A lot of people don't even think about their goal. You know, they take daily actions, little actions. Uh, they're trying to build a business by not really knowing where they want to build it to. So let's say that you've got a goal of getting your company to like a million pound income. Forget turnover. Let's talk about income. You want to get to a million a year. You say to yourself, you know what? I'd love to earn a million a year. So let me ask you this. Do you have a million a year actions? Do you have the actions of someone that would earn a million a year? Think about that. Do you have that desire, that hunger? Do you have that resilience? Do you even have um, Do you even have an idea of what it would look like to be earning a million a year? Have you even thought about that, what your lifestyle would look like, how things would change for you, change for your family? It's not just about getting into a business and just like getting on the treadmill, just like putting on speed one or speed two. We've got to amp that speed level up. We've got to put that level up to like 15, 16, well, maybe not 15, 16, but get to at least 10. Um, really think about like, why do you want your goal for? Why do you, what's it going to do for you? What's that million a year going to do for you? How does life change for you? Do you send your kids to private school? What happens? What, what happens to you? And we've got to get really infused about the goal. People don't really connect to that goal. It comes a bit of a fantasy. You know what? I'd love to do this. I'd love to do that. But I want you to look at your actions. Are they aligned with someone that earns that level of income? So if you want to break that million down a year, Chunk it down, break it down. What would be a million in the years? About 83,000 or something, 84,000, 84, something around that a month, right? So if you want to earn 84,000 a month, 83,000 a month, what sort of actions are you taking on a day to day basis that are going to get you to that 84? Do you see that there's a difference between what you're doing in your business on a day to day basis, how you're running your business, how you're running your team, how you're recruiting, how you're expanding, how you're investing in, in, in different things in your business? Is that of someone who earns that 80 odd thousand a year, uh, sorry, a month? Think about it. It's interesting, right? We can get so busy. We can get so caught up with the hype of just being busy for the sake of being busy without actually taking the right form of actions. Now, this is what I do with my, a lot of my clients. I really make sure that, look, here's your goal. This is what you want, right? Do you want this? Yes or no? What is it going to get you? We make a list of what it's going to get you. And then we've got to get moving in that direction. We can't just be hanging around, chilling with your friends in work time, you know, using your phone, social media, connecting with friends in work time. That should be a no-no. You should not be talking to anyone uh, apart from like clients, prospects, people in your business, that people that are actually moving your business forward during working hours. So I want you to think about if you were working a nine to five job in an office somewhere or on a supermarket, would you be allowed to get your phone out and start to communicate with people? Would you be allowed to start ringing your friends and your buddies? No. So why do you do that in your own business? You might say, well, I'm the boss, I can do what I want. Yeah, you can, but that's not your priority right now. You've got plenty of other time to make these calls and have conversations and DMs and all that sort of stuff, WhatsApp sending messages. Got to get serious. Got to get really nitty, got to get serious on the nitty gritty side of things. Well, otherwise nothing's going to change. Having that self-realization, I believe it's really important. Really um, monitoring your productivity. You know, where am I spending most of my time? What time do I, st <clears throat> what time do I start work? You know, how productive am I 9 a.m. as soon as I get in front of my computer, my desktop, or your app or whatever? How productive am I? Do I have um, some tasks that are going to actually move the needle in my finances forward? Think about your tasks that you have this morning. Think about, did you even have anything written down? Now, there's a study that's been done uh, where you're more likely to um, complete a task if it's written down. Otherwise, if you just have it in your mind, it's just an idea. Once you have it on paper, that piece of paper... It's so powerful when you put pen to paper and you put down exactly what you need to do. So I would always start with my goal, right? Remind yourself of your goal. Your goal should be um, on your mind, on the forefront of your mind 24-7. You should be infused by your goal. Now, once we get really infused by the goal, you'll start to see that we start to take enthusiastic action. Think about it. I want you to really think about what I'm saying here today. Think about your goal. This is how much I want to earn. If you want to earn 20000 a month, now I want you to look at your activities that you have on a day-to-day -day basis. Let's start with today. Maybe you're listening to this podcast first thing in the morning. Well, let's go back to yesterday. Let's see how much action, attention, focus that you put in to your 
20,000 a month goal. Think about that. Praxis is aligning your beliefs and your behavior. Now, chances are, if you're not taking that big action, you're not taking enough action on a day-to-day -day basis, maybe that you need to reevaluate your belief systems. Maybe you don't believe that you can hit that 20K a month goal. What am I talking about? Yeah. Listen, take a look at your beliefs. Do you believe you can actually hit that monthly goal that you set? And you might say yes, you might say no. But then I want you to look at your actions, your activities that you're taking on a day-to-day -day basis. Are they congruent with that belief? If you believe you can do 20,000, are you going after those type of clients that can get you to that 20,000? Are you making enough calls? Are you prospecting enough? Are you showing up enough in your marketplace? Are you taking the right actions? Are you? How much time do you actually spend on that 20K goal versus like the small tasks like social media posts, sending out a few emails here and there? Think about it. We've got to start taking bigger action. Bigger the goal, bigger the action that's required. Bigger the action, bigger the, bigger the goal, bigger the action. I'm taking lots of action compared to when I used to be before, when I was like pittering about, pottering about, hoping and wishing to hit my first 10K goal. And I didn't have the actions of that person who earns 10,000. Now, once I start to align my beliefs, once I start to change my subconscious beliefs, my actions start to change too. Now, your thoughts lead to your feelings, your feelings lead to your actions. So if you look at your thoughts, what kind of thoughts am I having around my goal? Oh, I don't see how I'm going to do it. It's a hard goal. It's big. <clears throat> it's never going to happen. So guess what? You'll never take aligned actions. You'll never take big enough actions to make that happen because you don't believe it's going to work for you. You don't believe that you can do it because it's such a big deal. One of the worst things that you can tell yourself is that I can't do it. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Don't make any excuses. All you got to do is think about, think about what you want. That's all you got to think about. All I've got to think about is what I want. <clears throat> and then ask yourself a question. What actions do I need to take around this? Now, you've got to form habits of someone who's earning the money that you want to earn. You've got to form the behavior patterns, the character traits, the, the thinking habits. Ha thinking is a habit too, you know. It's not just um, people put down habits just to like physical habits. Like, you know, I'm always twitching. I can't get off my mobile phone. I'm always smoking. I can't get off that. I'm always doing drugs. I'm always drinking. That's a habit. A habit can also be thinking. What, is, what are your thinking habits like? Are there always negative thinking habits, negative traits? Why it can't happen to me? Why is the world's against me? I can't do this. Now, that's a habit that's going to lead to your results. It's going to lead to your actions. That thinking habit, when you're thinking negatively, you never take a positive action. I want you to think about some of those days when you get really infused, when you get really excited. Maybe you've watched a motivational video and you got so driven, you're so pumped up and you want to do something. Yes, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get on this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. And then it phases off. Why is that? Because it's that, it's that belief that's controlling your actions. It's all down to belief, my friend. It's all down to your belief in yourself, whether you can do it or not. Now, if you don't think you can do your goal, if you don't believe that you can get there, you'll never, you'll never move, and move fast enough, forward enough, high enough at the pace in order for you to attain that. Now, I've set myself a big goal. And do I know how I'm going to get there? No, but I don't need to know how I'm going to get there. All I need to know and believe that I'm going to get there. That's all I need to do. And I carry that belief and that's going to strengthen my actions. It's going to start to change the way I show up in the marketplace. It's going to show up. It's going to change how I show up myself. It's going to really change. Now, doing this podcast is one of the things. I'm like, if I was at my goal, would I have my own show? I'm like, yeah, I would. So why not start the Mindy Paul show? Why not do that? It's so easy to do, right? It's so easy. Like, we make a big deal out of things. We make such, in our mind, we make such a big deal out of something so small. Like, I want you to look at your skills. Do you have, do you have like sales skills? Maybe if you're running your small team right now, you might be solopreneur. You might have a small team in house. How good are you at selling? Do you understand how to sell? You know, a lot of the time people like do enough to get generate leads and bring people in to have a conversation. But when it comes to closing that sale, transitioning that sale forward, a lot of people fall short because they feel very uncomfortable around sales. They are so afraid to ask for sales. They're always like kind of prolonging the process. They're always kind of pushing the thing forward. Instead of like, let's see if we can do a deal. Let's do it now. They'll say, right, I'll get back to you. I'm like, what's that to get back to? I see this all the time. So we've got to start to like take control. If you're selling something, how effective are you at selling? If you're selling something and you're not, you're good at selling, but you're not good at bringing in leads, you've got to look at, right, I need to take action so I can bring in more leads, bring in more people to me. So you've got to be, you've got to, you've got to be kind of an all-rounder. You don't have to be an all-rounder yourself, 
but you should have skills. You know, you should learn skills. You can, you don't have to be an all rounder, but you can learn how to do things yourself to an extent. Then you can start to hire people. You can, you know, you can start to do lots of different things. There's lots of agencies out there that you can recruit people from to, to hire setters and sales people and all that kind of stuff. You don't need to recruit in house. You can do that yourself. So think about this, right? Are you taking the right actions to hit your goal? Now, I want you to do a little, ex little exercise. Write down exactly what your goal is and write down three, I was going to say three, that's five, right? Write down five major things that that financial goal will give you. Number one may be like more freedom, more time freedom. That may be one. More increased income, more disposable income, more passive income, more, in, more income to invest in. Think of five things. And really like ask yourself a question. If I could, if these, if this goal gave me these five things, am I willing to go it all in every single day? Am I willing? Am I able? And am I willing? There's two things that you've got to, you've got to say yes to. If I, am I willing? Yes. Am I able? Yes. Right? So I want you to understand that. Goal, goals don't just happen on their own. You don't just grow businesses on their own. We have to be responsible in order for us to get there. We can't, the responsibility lays with you as the business owner. We can't pass the buck to anybody else. It's got to be you. And you've got to say, right, listen, I'm going to take full responsibility. The buck stops with me. And now I'm going to do whatever I need to do today and every single day in order for me to get to my dreams and goals. Those huge multinational businesses out there, multi-billion dollar deals, um, companies out there, they didn't happen by themselves. Recently in the press, there's been a lot of talk about um, um, recessions and stuff and downturn in the economy. But here's the thing. A lot of people are going to look at the downturn in the economy and they're going to be fearful. They're going to be like, well, shit, this is happening. I better start to retreat. But on the other hand, other people that are listening to this kind of stuff about downturn in an economy, recessions, they're getting ready to gear up. They are ready to take market share. These people sit around waiting to see who can we buy out? Who can we acquire? Acquisitions is a great thing, right? And they're always looking at buying smaller companies. And what happens is if you're a weak person, weak mind, and you start to face some financial crisis in the um, economy, chances are someone comes to you um, with an offer, you can say, you know what, I, I think I might just take it because um, I'm scared. Now, here's the thing. Somebody comes to you to buy your business. They have seen something in your business. Let me, even if you're selling your business today, you're thinking about it, you're, you've got an exit route in 15 years time. If so, I had an email the other day, somebody wanted to buy my business. I'm like, not, not right now. One day I might exit, you know, years from now, but... So someone's actually inquiring about my business. I know that they seen they see something in my business. They see that there's potential, there's money there. Or any business. If you're ever selling a business and somebody comes to you to buy your business, they have seen something there. Okay? They have seen something. A lot of the time you get people, experts that go out and finding businesses that are failing, not doing so well, and they go out and acquire them and they turn them around and sell them for millions. It's amazing. It's a great people actually make money out doing that. Okay? So going back, are you taking the right type of actions? Are you enthused by your goal? You should be driven by your goal. If you're not, I'd want you to reevaluate your goal. Have a look at your goal. Does it excite me? Does it scare me at the same time? Do I really want this? Do I know how? You don't need to know how you're going to get there. Do I really want this? And then what you got to say to yourself, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going after this. I'm going after this. I'm not going to take any prisoners, no hostages. I'm going all in on my goal and nothing is going to stop me. I'm going to be like a beast all right, I'm going to be like a, a hungry lion or lioness and I'm going to go after what I want. I'm going to get that goal and I'm going to nail it and then I'm going to set a bigger goal. That's how we grow. Stop pondering around with your day. Stop fucking around doing small things. Stop not taking action. Stop thinking about your goal <clears throat> and not taking action. Take responsibility. Take action today. Do the biggest thing that you fear. Do the things that you fear. Get them out of the way first. Don't do the little petty little things that are mundane tasks that someone else should be doing. You want to take control. Do the big things, get, tackle them first thing. And that way, once you've done them, you'll feel so much better. You'll feel so, so much more relieved and you'll be on a higher frequency. And um, that's when you'll start to see that big, you, you, we make things big or small. You know, we make it big in our mind. There isn't, there's no such thing as big or small. It's our perception that causes us to think something's big, something's small. Okay, so this is me signing out. I hope you found some incredible value to this podcast. And please do share this with someone in business, right? You don't know, this could be the chain, turning point in their life and yours. So yeah, do share this podcast with other people. Invite them in to listen with you and, and share this stuff, right? So listen, I'll see you on the next one. Take care.